Hello everybody! This time I'm going to talk about a more generic topic for a wider audience. The subject is an audio problem with a well-established action cam. After I realized that I'm not alone with this problem, I wanted to share my solution about how I solve the nasty crackling sound. Instead of just me talking in front of the camera, I'll show some outdoor footage I took with the same cam. The problem of the audio crackling or popping only happens with the Hero 9 cam's built-in microphone. With an external microphone or the media mod you'll be fine and won't notice anything. There is no setting or firmware update that will solve this well-known audio issue. It's simply a hardware defect. This was also confirmed to me by the GoPro support and its rep. To get a feeling of how this sounds, just listen a moment to the following video that I took after the cam had been switched on for about one minute. You'll mainly hear it on the right channel. It took me more than half a year of back and forth with the company to finally get my GoPro Hero 9 fixed. But in the end, I found a solution that worked for me and should work for you too. But let's start from scratch, so you see the big picture. I bought the camera in August 2021 and started to experiment with it. I appreciated the nifty possibilities of this compact cam, and everything seemed fine until I heard a disturbing crackling sound, mainly at the beginning of the footage. Since I didn't always hear it, I thought that it must be some kind of wind noise. Then I heard the noise on a summit where there was no wind at all. So I started to search the web and found thousands of people who were plagued by the same problem. I tried many of their proposed solutions, but none of them worked for me. Finally, then, I contacted the telephone and web chat GoPro support and requested a new cam in exchange for the malfunctioning one. Communication with GoPro was terrible, but let's stay focused on the main topic. After the replacement GoPro Hero 9 finally arrived, I quickly checked it out at home. Unfortunately, the problem was the same as with the previous cam, maybe even a bit worse. I created another proof video, contacted the GoPro support again and asked once more for a solution. After several phone and web chats, they told me that I should start the cam two to three minutes before taking the footage. Wait a minute, I should wait before filming with an action cam? This unsatisfactory workaround sounded like a joke to me. But at least the company confirmed that there is a problem with one of their products. As you probably know, one can enable a setting called Quick Capture, which allows you to record instantly with the press of a button. Well, what is the point of this feature if I have to wait before filming? You probably understand what I mean. But let's continue with the story. Because I'm sometimes stubborn and therefore didn't accept their silly proposal, I asked the GoPro support again for a real solution. I was open to several solutions like exchanging it for another model that doesn't have this problem or simply getting a refund and looking for another model. Unfortunately, except for waiting before filming, they didn't present a single solution. Some days later, I got a call from a German GoPro rep. He basically repeated everything that had already been stated by the GoPro support. The rep told me that there is no way to fix it, because it's a hardware defect. Since this is a problem that is covered by the guarantee, I asked for a refund or an exchange. He said that basically the cam works and again I heard that I just have to start it two to three minutes before filming. Also, he told me that I couldn't send the cam back a third time, since all the Hero 9 models have the same issue. I felt like I was stuck in Groundhog Day. What do you do in this situation? 
Fortunately, I'm a member of the number one Swiss consumer magazine called K-Tip, or as we say in German, K-Tip, that has an alliance with the Swiss television. I sent K-Tip some brief information about the case and asked them if they'd be interested in publishing a story and investigating. To my surprise, they were very interested and asked me to give more details. They have access to lawyers, and the journalist I spoke with couldn't understand why GoPro didn't simply refund me the faulty camera. The magazine and I arranged a photo session, and the article was published in the next issue of CarTip. In the meantime, GoPro was approached by CarTip via their media channel, and the company finally changed how they were handling my situation. GoPro suddenly got active and contacted me by email. They stated that they had found the problem and that they would send me a working cam. Since I had already heard such promises before at first, I was a bit skeptical. After I got the new cam, I did several recordings and this time the problem really was gone. How great! Finally! After more than half a year, I can instantly record videos without this disturbing noise. My problem was solved, but how can you get a working GoPro Hero 9 cam? GoPro definitely doesn't tell their customers the whole story about the problem. And in most countries, a class action lawsuit is not an option. If you face the same problem, I'd simply insist with the GoPro support that you get a working cam. This is your legal right, and GoPro knows that very well. Don't accept the answer that there is a hardware defect that can't be fixed and I can't do anything about it. Yes, there is a problem with some production batches, but not with all. If you come up against a brick wall, send GoPro the link to this case which proves that there is a solution. If that doesn't help, try contacting a consumer organization or magazine like I did. Being approached by a journalist puts additional pressure on them and you can be sure that GoPro doesn't want bad press about their products. If you want to share your experience with other Hero9 users or about the GoPro company in general, please leave a comment below. Further, you'll find some more details in the video description that I'll keep up to date. As consumers, we have a lot of power and can change how companies like GoPro treat their customers. I really hope that the information presented in this video helps you to get a perfectly working camera as well. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.